as you can see I'm standing here with a lot of bees we, we love to treat, to treat them with any water and every drop is very important for them it's close to the winter I think they are hungry because never there was so much uh, bees you can see they're hungry and we're feeding them I'm gonna make a candy so uh, they can be fed through the winter I'm still waiting for a swarm so, but it seems like there's thousands of them they can swarm just before the winter for the last time and yeah but you can see I'm standing next to them they're not stinging me and it's Africa bees smaller than the American Indian bee and European bee so don't come and tell me they are dangerous because I'm standing here I'm not going to stand very long with my camera because it's black they don't like dark colors then they will sting the hand with the dark color Here's my bee, bee catch hive. I catch the bees with it. So, uh, the, it is the, the same example as Dr. Saranskan bee hive. It's a bee catcher. You can put it in any tree and put lemongrass inside and then the uh, bee scout will come and look for a place to stay and then he will bring the, the queen to the hive so and then you catch the bees and then you put it in a bigger horizontal bee hive I still have to fix the roof there but because I I, I didn't have a straight straight plank but that's not really an issue because the, it's sealed inside also so the rain can't go in there but I love honey bees it's not a bug it's a bee so please subscribe and share with everyone bees can't hurt you if you don't hurt them they won't hurt you don't steal their honey they will sting you use a smoker not like this other guys in a documentary because they are stupid they they hit the walls without even taking some smoke and to calm the bees how can you hit a wall and think the bees will stay calm uh, some people are stupid but yes you can go and look all that videos of um, the documentary of the killer bees really what are you serious without bees you will die because they 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 uh, pollinated fruit trees and all the other stuff that we eat protect the bees as you can see uh, I've put up some clips and the first photo was uh, a horizontal beehive and then you will see all the other clips um, it's about the frames and you must also read what Sherlock Holmes said he said data 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 always check your frames very clearly for sicknesses and everything and here is a few pictures of how you can feed your bees and you can also put lemon grass in as you can see uh, in these pictures and there's also uh, bottles and a dive on the metal frame and that is the oil that you can put like car oil and the ants won't come in but you must uh, modify it under your frame so the rain won't uh, fall into the oil so um, there's many ways to do that just google it, google it and uh, there's one serious thing you must put your hive uh, more than three feet two feet in the air and put it on metal frames because many ants go into the fr into the ice and other stuff 
your eye will stay more healthier. You will see these frames look very good, and then you will also see um, I put the the horizontal beehive with the feeders and everything. It's much better to work like that because you save your back, you won't get injuries, and it's um, much better uh, in the long run. And it's easy to take out the frames. You will see that some of the eyes uh, of the picture shows the eyes is close to the ground. It's a no go. Use data data. Always check your uh, your eyes uh, closely for for everything, how the bees react and everything. Bee rearing, you can do it yourself with many methods. I I put the pictures here, and to um, also to get pollen you can put that frame in front of your your entrance you can collect pollen and the world bees is dying you can see that the way they use trucks uh, with all these bees uh, packed together the heat destroy them at the border post so thousands of bees dies people don't care you make money eight hundred dollars a box Multiplied, you will see, you will make money. With this with the queen rearing, you can sell your, your, your bees and get strong colonies. You can gross profit in a month, 16, uh, in this, uh, in the season, $16,000. And if you got more eyes, brothers, hey, you can make a lot of money. And um, I go back to the frames, read what, what is written on the frames. Um, what you can see, the cat brood, uh, do you still see the queen? You don't have to look for it, but see if there's brood and uh, if there's um, drones, uh, eggs. And uh, the worker bees is flat and then drones is a little bit higher, the capped, capped uh, brood. And then you also can put feeders in, honey feeders, uh, people use white sugar, don't use any kind of other things if you if you're really in serious trouble use white sugar don't use any brown sugar other sugars other stuff it won't it will die and um, if you want to remove bees you can check this out also there's a way to do it uh, jp the bee man is very good with that um, i also can do it you must really be protected do it very safely for other people that's living around you don't break the place down to get the bees uh, use a vacuum sucker because that's at the right one don't destroy the bees don't kill them don't break the combs uh, put them nicely the brood comes into the the, the frames when you move um, i've heard there's some other people that they go and remove the bees and they only want the honey. And as you see, one photo shows that the, the bee boxes is stacked on each other high in the air. It's not working, brothers and sisters. And um, you, you're going to struggle to, 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 to check your frames and see if your hives is healthy. Don't put metal stuff on your hives. I don't believe it. You will see these pictures of the metal uh, like corrugated iron that's on the hive. Some places it gets so hot that the bees cook inside and they will leave. They won't stay there. So don't use use uh, wooden roofs like cable roofs and um, it's much better because you, you take the heat and the cold from, from, from the hive. And if you look closely how the bees work on the on the trees in, in China, they have to pollinate itself. Uh, if you destroy the bees, you're gonna pollinate your uh, the, the the almond trees yourself. And pesticides, pesticides is the worst thing that kills bees all over the world. Uh, you can't believe how bad it is and and, and what what is happening in china they have to pollinate all the crop and everything and so if you use pesticides the farmers start changing it because the the, the poison going into the ground the plants picking it up it pulls it uh, into the flowers and the bees dies uh, 
People say bees are dangerous. Dr. Sharon can explain how we work with bees. If you don't got info, data, 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 go and study before you go and judge because you don't know anything about bees. They say, yeah, but bees attack and bees are killers. No, it's not working like that. It's because you've done something wrong. Bees protect themselves. They are small little uh, uh, honey maker. So come and uh, study the, the bees. Protect it because without the bees, you, you're going to suffer. And start going over to horizontal beehives, then you won't disturb the colony. Uh, Dr. Sharonskin also ex also explains the vertical Lansdorf hives is, is too, too thin. Many guys build the hives and it's too thin. Uh, if, you, if you use a horizontal beehive, you won't go wrong because you will see that Dr. Sharonskin also uh, put some uh, uh, wooden planks on top so you can just work on the side. And you can also get your own swamp. You can use locks. Um, I'm going to build lock um, traps because you can uh, put it in the air very high with a rope and it will be vertical. Bees like vertical stuff, but you can also put it horizontal. It depends on, uh, on, on how you bolt it. But horizontal beehives is much easier to work. And it's not so difficult. Put a, a bee... Um, uh, feeders, what I did with bottles and everything, I've put some bottles on. So that's how it works. Um, then you can feed them through the winter. And you see the lady got a lot of bees on her face and all over the body. It's not dangerous. You make it dangerous when you don't study bees. Go and get the right info. Then you won't be then you won't go wrong. Please, um, protect the bees. We, we're not there to destroy them. And if you don't know anything about it, uh, we must save the, the planet of, of destruction. You see how China is struggling with their bees. Okay, brothers and sisters, this is a, was a short lesson look look at your frames there you can see what's happening if there's varroa mites beetles american fell brood european fell brood um, if there's chalk brood uh, american fell brood and Euro uh, european fell brood is not uh, it's you, you you get it but um, it's not like it's you will find it every day but if you get American fall brood, you have to destroy your your hives. Uh, you have to burn it because it's a dangerous sickness for the bees. It can spread easily. And don't put your hives close to the ground. I see this uh, commercial bee, bee um, farmers. The the apparatus is close is on the ground. Is it really healthy? I don't think so. And you will see also these pictures I put up um, of microscopic pictures about e uh, about uh, these shops, the the spa, Shoprite, Pick a Pay, Walmart. Is that honey really pure raw honey? No, it isn't. If you take it under a microscope, you will see there's there's no crystals in. Test it yourself. Raw honey is raw honey, and you will smell it. It will it will smells like the the flowers, it, the, like the nature. It's very strong. So they 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 mix it with syrup, and, and that's what makes me very angry. And if they say it's raw honey, so uh, look through this uh, pictures again. Look if you find problems on the frames, if you can see if there's any problems. Um, learn how to read your frames. Check it closely. Learn, and, and learn to pick up your frames right. If you've got a foundationless frame, don't pick it up uh, sideways. You're going to lose your, your honey combs. You have to have 
strong uh, wire inside and and um, uh, and honeycomb that's that's uh, bind with with some uh, wire so it won't fall out and uh, that's how it works always always information information data data that's what, what how did Sherlock Holmes did his investigations when he got data don't come and judge if you don't know nothing about bees because I'm so angry with these guys that I think it was in Australia where they wanted to destroy these uh, colonies they just went inside and they hit the walls and they tried to break it open and there was not even smoke involved never go to your hive without smoke if you don't go to smoker get one because you must calm the bees otherwise you making them angry they're gonna sting you and they're gonna sting other people bees want to protect their hive that's what they do that's why they mate like that bees are not dangerous by themselves it's because somebody did something wrong so go and get data have a great day an awesome day and protect the bees and, and if a, a last advice build yourself a horizontal beehive if you don't know how dr liu saranskin from horizontalhive.com it's got many um, uh, uh, free um, sketches and plans and how you can build your own um, beehive I've googled and I saw that they use um, stumps like locks and they open it they, they, they make it hollow they take a, a chainsaw and they take out the middle I'm gonna build it like how you build um, the barrels uh, uh, this wine barrels I'm gonna make a 40 liter 42 liter belt uh, the way I've uh, designed it is about 60 centimeters by 30, 30 centimeters wide. The radius is 15 centimeters times 2. So it's 60 meters long and 30 meters, 30 centimeters wide. And you make it a, a hole in the middle and you hang it any place you want vertical you can put it in a in a tree trunk also horizontal it don't matter and then you must put in a lure and use some uh, lemon grass in a slow release um, tube i just took a plastic tube and I, 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 I closed the, 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 the bottom with some metal so the stuff won't run out and, and then I take some double-sided tape and I put it in the hive against the wall close to the entrance you can make yourself a lure a queen bee lure so you can uh, make pheromones but you must use some, it's like a mix of lemongrass, I think it's also lemon, and uh, then there's other, other um, aroma oil that you also use. You can Google it, you will see it's, uh, I think it's three, it's three types of oil that you mix. And then you, then you can, uh, Put that in your eye and they say it works very great i'm also gonna do that now and i will let you know in other videos what happened have a great day brothers and sisters cheers until later